We're nearing the end of this morbid journey, and the list of our 100 favorite kills and deaths from the first 99 episodes of AMC's The Walking Dead draws to a close. It's going to get both more gruesome and way harder to manage emotionally. So go ahead and check the description afterwards for some links to adorable videos of obnoxiously cute animals you can use to palate cleanse your brain. But before that, let's jump right into numbers 40 through 21. Number 40. When Season 7 returned from the holidays with Episode 9, it came back with a vengeance. One of the best executed plans in the entire series unfolds beautifully here as Rick and Michonne pull one of the largest mass walker kills in series history. With a clothesline that would make The Undertaker jealous, the dynamic duo takes out hundreds of walkers. Just two episodes into Season 6, Alexandrian Aaron gets slashed through the gut by a wolf named Aphid, and Carol is just one second too late to save her friend. I mean, she definitely kills Aphid, so that's one avenging plus, but she also has to stab Aaron in the head to prevent her from screaming or turning. Yikes. Number 38. In Season 6, Episode 4, we finally learn how Morgan went from this... You go clear! ...to this... It's all a circle. Everything gets a return. Eastman was a man filled with compassion, love, and a keto. But Morgan suffers a bout of PTSD at exactly the wrong time right when he's being approached by a walker. Eastman then pushes Morgan out of the way, only to get bitten himself. His condition worsens, and eventually he tells Morgan where he keeps his gun. This heartbreaking mercy killing hit us all in the feels, but hopefully he's in the real good place. Number 37. Tabitha, no! You had so much cheese left to give. In the same episode, she escapes her pen while Eastman is digging some walker graves, and well, you know the rest. You will be missed far more than the prison pigs, the farm chickens, or Rick's horse. <laughs> Number 36. Listen, our man Carter may have plotted to kill Rick and then Eugene, but did he deserve to have his face bitten off? <laughs> Kicking off season six while the team is trying to wrangle all those walkers from the quarry, Carter's just running through the forest alone when he gets plucked by a stray walker who can't hardly wait to take a chunk off his cheek. Main dude Rick then stabs poor Ethan Embry in the head to relieve his suffering. Number 35. In the comics, Carl is the one who shoots Lucille, but on the show, Rosita takes it on herself to kill Negan and does the fateful deed only to learn lesson number one. Do not mess with Lucille. Afterwards, she won't tell him who made the bullet. As a consequence, Negan tells Arat to kill somebody. While she's had lots of nameless Alexandrians to pick from, her gunshot lands directly in Olivia's face. Olivia may have survived all-out war in the comics, but she sadly won't be sorting any more supplies on screen. Number 34. We love when bad guys get got, so the long debate with this one was how high up it should go. In episode 4 of season 5, upon pressuring Beth to have sex with him for not revealing that she snuck into Don's office, Gorman gets what's coming to him in a combo effort by Beth and Walker Jones. We're not upset about this one at all. Number 33. While on a run, Aiden turns to find that he's been followed by a single armored walker, and then shoots it several times despite Glenn's protesting. Aiden impulsively continues shooting, accidentally hitting a grenade on the walker's bandolier, causing an explosion that severely injures Tara and impales him on a shelf. They try to pull him off the spikes, but Nicholas pulls a Nicholas. Glenn tries one last time, but Noah pulls Glenn away, leaving Aiden to be swarmed by the walkers. Diana is not gonna be happy. Number 32. In episode eight of season five, we have a battle where no one won. After Don causes a death that deserves a much higher spot on this list, we'll talk about it later, that shit simply does not fly with Daryl. Despite Don's pleading, he shoots her in the head, and thus ends our time with Don Lerner. Number 31. Now, this one hurts. In episode 8 of season 4, when little Megan gets snatched up by a walker coming out of the ground and her mom, Lily, is a moment too late to save her, she gets bitten in the shoulder and dies. <laughs> Lily then takes her daughter's body to the governor, who shoots her in the head before she can reanimate. Later on, Lily, distraught as she believes her entire family to be dead, commits suicide by letting a pack of wolves devour her. Number 30. We said it once and we'll say it again. Love it when bad dudes get got. In episode 4 of season 1, Carol's ex-husband and all-around terrible guy, Ed, is sitting in his tent after Shane gave him a beatdown for being an all-around terrible guy. He then opens his tent thinking he has a visitor when instead, he has a pack of walkers waiting for him. <laughs> Later, in episode 5, Daryl comes to finish the job with his axe. Our hero, Carol, took the load off of his hands in the end. This is the first step taken towards the Rambo Carol we all know and love. Get it, girl. Number 29. Speaking of season 1, episode 4, back in our wee innocent days, poor Amy just wanted to know where the toilet paper was when her arm got bitten into by a walker who appeared seemingly out of nowhere. 
She's so mauled she can't even speak to say goodbye to Andrea, but she manages to stroke her cheek before dying. Sad times. Number 28. Season 6, Episode 3 puts us on an infamous dumpster where Glenn and Nicholas are trapped awaiting certain death. Nicholas, not wanting to be eaten by a horde of the undead, takes the expected coward's way out. Slow-mo blood sprays all over poor Glenn and is totally annihilated by the hungry walkers surrounding them in the not-Glenn death that rang sadness and anger all across the world. No! <laughs> Fuck! One loud. Number 27. In episode two of season four, the pig flu sweeps across the camp and those displaying symptoms, including Karen and David, are isolated from the rest of the group. Carol, in an attempt to stop the illness from spreading, decides to kill them both and burn their bodies. While we don't see it happen and don't find out that it was her for a while, the moment of Tyrese discovering his new lover charred and bloody in the alley is super sad. Number 26, finally, someone dies over a cantaloupe. In the 13th episode of season seven, a supply drop goes bad when the kingdom is one cantaloupe short in their delivery to the saviors. Jared considers shooting Richard as consequence, but instead fires his gun into Benjamin's leg. He ruptures Benjamin's femoral artery and despite everyone's best efforts, Benjamin bleeds out. Great plan, Richard, a truly melancholy end. Number 25, in episode three of season five, Bob wakes up to a bunch of dudes eating his leg, but Bob just laughs it off and gets the classic comic book Dale moment. David after the cannibals drop him back off at the church, he dies in bed next to a tearful Sasha. It's all just so sad. Number 24. Speaking of that episode in Cannibals, Rick decides he's not super down with Gareth. Gareth's very timely demise comes in St. Sarah's Church alongside his fellow munchers when Rick and the gang ambushes the remaining hunters. So we guess Gareth won't be eating anyone anymore. Number 23, back in episode four of season three, our old friend T-Dog attempted to close the gate to the prison after Andrew lured walkers there, but he was bitten in the process. He runs off with Carol, but knowing his time is up, uses his life to save hers by holding back some walkers. A chunk of his throat is ripped out, and with it, a chunk of our hearts. <laughs> Number 22. In the mid-season finale of season six, after rescuing Rick from a group of walkers, Deanna and him escape with seemingly just a leg injury. However, when Michonne tends to her injury later, she finds a bite mark on Deanna's side. Michonne offers to kill her before she turns. Deanna declines, saying she'll kill herself when the time comes. In one last move of badassery, she takes his mini down with her before she goes. Finally, ending our list of sad tales at 21 is season six, episode 14. Denise is just finally coming into her own and trying to play group mediator by getting Daryl and Rosita to talk out all their weirdness when out of nowhere, she takes on Abraham's comic book death. Turns out Negan sent Dwight and a group of saviors to kill Alexandrians in retaliation for his own men's death. And it's all made more sad by the fact that Tara doesn't learn about it until halfway through season seven when she gets back from Oceanside. Sorry, Tara. On that somber note, we leave you all for today. We only have the saddest and gruesomest left and we cannot wait to share the rest of our picks with you. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for the grand finale of our long debated favorite 100 kills and deaths from the 99 episodes. Subscribe to Skybound for more of The Walking Dead and a ton of other awesome comic books and shows. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the list and we'll see you tomorrow. Go click on those adorable animals.